today we're going to be talking about word dance and joining the budget. So our first question is, for the benefit of people watching, what is Down Syndrome? Down Syndrome is the most common congenital birth defect that affects about 600 um, babies born every year. And what it is, is all of us have pairs of chromosomes, and that's how normally developing people are made, but people with Down syndrome have three chromosomes at number 21, and um, it's called Down syndrome because it was a man called John Down who noted that there were children being born who had similar features, um, and so that's why it's called Down syndrome, not because they're down in the dumps or... <laughs> Are you part of any charity that supports children with Down Syndrome? Um, I do take part in events that are held by the Down Syndrome Association, which is in um, based in Portsmouth. Um, when Erin was very small, well she still has um, speech difficulties now, but when she was very small she had severe speech difficulties. So um, I used to go down to Portsmouth um, quite regularly uh, to get input from them as to how I could help her at home. And then luckily they set up a branch um, in Surrey where um, I had to pay for it, but it was fine, um, where every week she could go and have um, speech and language uh, lessons. Um, so that's the only one that I've really been associated with, but that is one of the, the bigger uh, charities. It was set up by um, a man whose daughter was born with Down syndrome. What do you think should be done about Down syndrome in Britain? The thing is there's no... There's no cure for Down syndrome. Uh, you know, you, you either have it or you don't. Um, nobody knows why some children are affected so much more profoundly than others. For like example, my Erin is quite high functioning for someone with Down syndrome. Uh, she she really struggles at school, but she she will achieve and she probably will be able to live independently one day with a little bit of help. But there are other people with Down syndrome who wouldn't be able to do that. But there is nothing that anybody can do about that in terms of you can't cure it. But uh, I think certainly uh, making people more aware of the fact that people with Downs are people too. <laughs> and that they're not a different species or something. They just happen to have learning difficulties. You know, that they're no different in, in the way of emotions and things like that. They're just like everybody else. Do you think there are enough charities around the world to make a difference? I don't really know enough about around the rest of, of the world. I, I did live in America for a, a little while with Erin, and um, they have an excellent program called Babies Can't Wait, and it's what's called early intervention. So they don't wait until the child goes to school before they start saying, oh dear, we better help her with her learning, oh dear, we better help her with her speech. She was six weeks old when she first started getting help, um, even if it was just physiotherapy or just um, looking at brightly coloured things, you know, to stimulate her senses and things.